Hello and welcome back to another game review. Today we will be looking at Cast Out Colony, a vampire survivors like. I'm not sure what the actual genre is called, maybe survivor like. Who knows? This seems to be focused around uh, a bug colony, as the name suggests, and the little character. You have been called here to stand trial for your unspeakable crime. What's that? You do not remember? You didn't put a certain blue caped puppet in a certain fighting game with gaming icons? I have decided that you will be cast out from this colony. Be gone. I'm not sure what that's referencing. Unless it's refer referencing the actual character. Uh, when in the arena, enemies will appear around your character. You will attack. Okay, so some attacks fire from your character. Pick up stuff. So as you can see, you attack automatically. Much like any survivor like. Uh, and you pick up stuff to level up. So we're killing some shiny bats, the two types of skills, active and passives. And there are six types of rarities. Um, sure, let's get some bees. Who doesn't like bees? We've got a, got a big boy here. Destroyed, banishing blow. Uh, after defeating a certain number of enemies, you can unleash your special ability. Okay, it turns us into a Bade Blade. Spinning the speed of sound. We should probably get this kind of Lego treasure chest, maybe? Seed Bomb. Sure. I like, when I play these games, I like picking up a lot of different weapons, then leveling up one weapon. It's, I don't want to put a bunch of levels into B and then it'd be shit. Seems like we can have five passives. Oh, sorry, six weapons and six passives. Reduced damage is always good. Means when we eventually do take damage, not that we will, but if we do, we will take less of it. I do like the uh, numbers that appear. It's kind of cool. Bosses, be on the lookout for large enemies. There doesn't seem to be any lurking right now, but in other arenas, these tough enemies will be on the hunt for you. After completing the minimum number of waves, the way out to the arena will open. At this point, you can leave at any time to collect your spoils, or stay and fight until the waves and bosses, all waves and bosses are defeated. Completing all waves and bosses is a true survival. Uh, true survivals are not harder difficulties. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of. Okay, it's. They're gonna tell us where the gate is. Kind of. Wait, get out of there. Okay. Or well, is this some kind of colony? Welcome, traveler. What brings you to this side of the gate? Ah, I cast that from the college too, hmm? Well, well, you're in luck. My name is Ant Boy, and I'm starting a new colony. Better colony, a colony for all those who have been unrightfully cast out. Just cast out colony. You said the name. Will you help me build it? Do I get a choice? Let me rephrase that. You will help me build it. No, I don't. I don't get a choice. Back in the old days, thinking and just colony, I was just a master carpenter. Take a look at the blueprint at my crafting table. I'll build you, you somewhere to stay. Okay. Colony is a mess. You need more room to build. Interact with stuff. Cool. Bam, there's my house. Now, nah, I'm going to bed. Flower cones are used to purchase characters, blueprints, arenas, following upgrades, and much more. You gain flower coins, choose an arena. 
The main ways to unlock more skills and blueprints are to play through the arena and progress in your colony. However, you only receive new unlock walls after completing a run in the arena. Okay. So, we can only play in the dark forest 24 waves. I'm not quite sure why going inside the house put me into out of the colony. Maybe I press something. Who knows? Now I'm, I'm kind of got to focus on things. Got to pick up the stick food to so do more damage. Okay, it looks like we're versing some moles now. Oh my god, pretty strong. Nice. Cool down. Vine spread out from the ground. Ooh. Okay. Do a little bit of a, a whipping action there. We have taken damage. We are an embarrassment to all bug kind. Let's get a smart B. We can roll. The roll is kind of a bit, a bit floaty. But it's, it goes a very big distance too. Hey, okay, we're getting attacked. We can pick up flower coins from side these item trees I guess also maybe different upgrades drop okay so we have to make it through all all waves I think for it to open we're just whipping okay we got some Venus fly traps now Oh, this thing has so much health. It's finally dead. Sick foo and also a bunch of horizontal slash behind the character. Uh, additional protector. More bees. Nicholas Cage would be fearing himself right now. I like this kind of glow that they put on. And kind of glow in the dark. Shows you where the other enemies are. Kind of cool. I wonder if the wave is based on time or if it's based on how many things you kill. I think it might be time, but I'm not sure. probably don't have more than six things unlocked like weapons so we should probably pick the weapons but I just just imagine the amount of bees that we can get we're we doing classic survivor like strategy a little bit of ABS Always be strafing. Okay, this guy. I don't know if he's evil or not. He seems evil. He's right on my ass. Maybe a boss? Okay, he died. Leaf barrier. 
I do like orbitals. Okay, so that's just getting leveled up based off of bosses. I'm fine with that. A magnet would be nice, so I'd just collect all this stuff. It's taken a while to upgrade our, or to get our ultimate skill. The tutorial made it seem way easier. But, ooh, green. Those are way better. Just cool down. Yeah, let's let's get some more damage for our vine whip. We truly are a Pokemon. We gained a reroll, which I assume will be for our level up. Right, so we just kind of back away, break the wrists, walk away. Okay, I don't know if that's a boss. It's like the evolution of the Venus flytraps. It's stuck in the wall. That's the worst place to be. Okay, we're getting some more vine whips. Because they kind of attack in a long area direction. Which helps us when we wrangle them up like this. Okay. So he died. Oh, double? Triple. The base damage up leaves us longer, one additional projectile, and cooldown reduce. Okay, don't die. Provide. The health. We kind of lost all the passives. Made a heap some money at the moment. Seven hundred flowers. This is this is quite difficult for the, like the first level. Technically, we're only halfway through. Another boss. Uh, I don't know what that is. A frog? He's rolling? Okay, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. This frog has a bib on. Um, I'm scared. I need an adult. It's getting stuck on trees. Water health done. I don't know how much I have done. Okay, we've got big spiders now. Dodged. So every 10 waves, I'm assuming that there is a big. Okay, we've been eaten. Damn. Back to the colony. That got really uh, difficult. So it looks like we can't 
get the new characters just yet. Oh, he looks cool. He does not look cool. Queen. Rolly poly dude. Uh, you have new blueprint. You have new blueprints at your crafting table. Take a look and see what you can build. Uh, the more you build the colony, the higher the enrichment level will become. If uh, you ever, even if you have open space in your colony, the limit to how much can be built. Okay. So we can build a library. We have to clear a space for. Nice. Do we have anything else we can build? If we were to place like one here. Beautiful. I can't. Uh, we still haven't. We haven't got any enrichment yet. Assume it doesn't really cost money. It's kind of costs us stuff. takes us there yeah, I wanted to put one over here okay, that's not what we want and then I want to put some trees yeah then I'm gonna put some enrichment just bushes kind of here and there There we go, we've got 1% increase to everything. It's not too bad. Gladly we can walk through those. If you like to learn more about skills and structures. Okay, so this kind of, ah, oh, it gives us a, uh, what everything turns into. Cool. Uh, so this is just a tutorial. This is our monster book. I mean, soon. Obviously, game is not complete. But again, we could go to the dark forest. We haven't succeeded to exit, so our waves haven't gone up. But we could unlock this arena, the happy little forest. And this one will, I assume, be easier. Uh, I was wrong. It's not easier. It's horrible. I've been chased already and I just started. It's just going to be upgrade for our stick food. Okay, so our active skin our skill, I should say. Okay, no, it's not an active. It just falls down from the sky. At least we can see areas. Okay, this is definitely not as easy as the other one. That opens at 15, so we can't really escape, can we? We can roll with right click. Or space. Uh, can we... Just kind of want to see the end. See if we unlock anything else. I 
and then we'll wrap it up. We were eaten again. So we did unlock a new blueprint, Carpenter, which I'm assuming is going to allow us to upgrade something. So we'll go have a look at that. There a little space for it. Okay, with that space done, we can now build the carpenter. Have underestimated how big the carpentry thing was. It should fit in here. Maybe have to get rid of this. Okay. Then we can have a look at it. Wow. The big area. So we use our flower coins to upgrade our blueprints. What's up, dude? Well, you're interested in these fine blueprints, I gather? Yes. Or buy blueprints, I should say. Uh, brick pillar. Cool. Stone path. Cool. Okay. You're useless. <laughs> Basically the Tom Nook of this game. As I said, it's got a little bit of Animal Crossing-esque stuff in it. But that's all we have time for. This was Cast Out Colony, a kind of interesting survivors like with uh, some different mechanics put into it. Kind of a base building, similar to Cult of the Lamb. Um, I like the art style. It's cool little bugs. Themes are really cool. Uh, but that's all we have time for. I will catch you guys next time. And as always, have a good one. Goodbye.